The bladder channel is the yin yang paired channel of the small intestine channel. It's also the food channel of tai yang. Let's start with the primary channel. The bladder primary channel starts at bladder 1 at the inner canthus of the eye. It goes up to the top of the head, intersecting with gallbladder 15, GV24, and GV20. There is a branch that comes down to the region above the ear, intersecting with several gallbladder points. Another branch enters the brain, meets with GV17, emerges at the nape of the neck, then separates into medial and lateral branches. The medial branch intersects with GV14 and GV13, then goes down to the lumbar region 1.5 turn lateral from the midline. It connects with the kidneys and bladder, goes down along the sacrum, then goes to bladder 40 at the popliteal fossa of the knee. The lateral branch goes down to the lumbar region, 3 chun lateral to the midline. It crosses the buttock, intersecting with gallbladder 30, then goes to bladder 40, meeting with the medial branch. The channel goes to bladder 60, posterior to the lateral malleolus, then ends at bladder 67 at the lateral side of the little toe, meeting with the kidney channel. The bladder lower connecting channel comes out at bladder 58 and connects with the kidney channel. The bladder divergent channel comes out at the popliteal fossa, goes up the thigh, and curves around the anus. It connects with the bladder and kidneys, goes up along the spine, disperses in the cardiac region, then emerges at the neck, rejoining the primary channel. The bladder sinew channel starts at the little toe, goes posterior to the lateral malleolus, then binds at the lateral aspect of the knee. There is a branch inferior to the lateral malleolus that binds at the heel, goes up along the Achilles tendon to the calf. It separates into two branches, and they bind at the medial and lateral aspect of the popliteal fossa. They go up the thigh and bind at the buttock. The channel goes up along the lateral aspect of the spine to the nape of the neck. A branch binds at the root of the tongue, and the channel binds at the occipital bone. It goes up over the head, binds at the bridge of the nose, curves around the eye, then binds at the cheekbone. There is a branch on the back that binds at large intestine 15. There is a second branch that goes to inferior to the axilla, goes up to the supraclavicular fossa, then binds at gallbladder 12 behind the ear. And the third branch from the supraclavicular fossa binds at the cheekbone. Here are the key points. The primary channel begins at the inner canthus of the eye. The senior channel circles around the eye. The primary channel goes over the head and enters the brain. The senior channel goes over the head. The primary channel goes to the region around the ear. The senior channel goes behind the ear. The divergent channel curves around the anus. The senior channel binds at the root of the tongue and at the shoulder. The primary channel enters the kidneys and bladder. The divergent channel enters the kidneys and bladder and disperses in the cardiac region. Now, let's look at what kind of signs and symptoms manifest when there is a problem with the bladder primary channel. Fever and aversion to cold, headache, stiff neck, pain in the lower back, pain in the eyes, pain behind the leg along the channel. The bladder lower connecting channel has excess and deficiency syndrome, for excess, signs and symptoms include stuffy nose, headache, back pain, neck pain, and shoulder pain. For deficiency, there is a runny nose and nose bleed. Signs and symptoms of the bladder sinew channel are pain and stiffness of the muscles of the little toe, foot, heel, and knee, pain and spasm of the back, stiff neck, inability to raise the shoulder, Stiffness of the muscles of the axillary region, inability to twist the waist. Now, let's go over some major acupuncture points on this channel. Bladder 1 is a major point for the disorders of the eye. 
bladder 2 is also used for the disorders of the eye, and this point can substitute bladder 1 for a safety reason. This point can be also used for the headache and hemorrhoids. On the bladder channel, many points are indicated for hemorrhoids. Bladder 60 clears wind, fire, and excess yang from the upper part of the body, treating signs and symptoms such as headache, redness, pain and swelling of the eyes, nosebleed, and toothache. It can also activate the entire bladder channel and relax the sinews, treating pain and spasm along the channel. Interesting indication for this point is difficult labor. Another point on this channel, bladder 67, has the action of facilitating the labor as well, while application of moxibustion on this point is indicated for the mouth position of the fetus. Bladder 62 can clear wind, fire, and excess yang from the upper part of the body like bladder 60. This point is classically indicated for daytime epilepsy, while kidney 6 is indicated for nighttime epilepsy. In addition to these points, there are 12 back shoe points on the bladder channel. Each back shoe point corresponds to 12 organs. They are located on the medial branch of the channel on the back, 1.5 chun lateral to the spinous process of the thoracic and lumbar vertebra, and sacral foramen. They are classically indicated for diseases of yin organs rather than yang organs. But in modern clinical practice, these back shoe points are used to treat both yin and yang organs with much wider applications. If you want to learn more about acupuncture prescriptions according to patterns, please check our blog, the link is in the description. In the next video, we will learn about the kidney channel of foot Xiaoyin.